other day I was standing in the kitchen and my husband was opening the mail and as he opened something, he said, oh my gosh, this is the best solicitation letter I have ever read. So I paused and I watched him as he was reading, he had this big grin on his face and he said, this is the best letter I've ever read. As I watched his eyes, he did not get past about halfway through the letter when he was telling me this. It was a front and back solicitation letter. So halfway through the letter is when he spoke up. So I went through the letter and I circled the things in the top of the letter that I thought stood out. And I wanna share those with you. There are six things I wanna share with you. Five are the top five lines. So let me share those with you. The first thing is make the first line about the donor. You might say, whether you like X, Y, or Z, I bet you enjoyed what this year. So in this case, I guess I'm thinking about the arts or outdoors, the environment or something like that. But whatever it is, make it about the donor, what they're passionate about. The second line is remind the reader why your nonprofit is important. What are you trying to do? What's your vision? So you wanna cast your vision. So you may say something like, so you know as well as anyone how important X is. X allows us to, you might say, provide more women and children a safe place to live, bring quality arts to our community, have a safe and fun place to stay active outdoors. You want to share your vision by sharing a transformation because transformation is one of the most important parts to sharing the impact, to telling your story, to sharing why you exist. Okay, the third line is you want to share your successes. You have a proven solution to the problem or need. So it may go something like, thanks to people like you, the ABC project has been an incredible success with more than 500 people or animals or places supported today. Okay, so the third line is sharing your successes, the proven solution. The fourth line is we have more work to do. It's not enough. We have more work to do today. We have a waiting list. The demand is higher than ever. You want to share your urgency. The fifth line, this is halfway through the letter, is make the ask. You might say, that's why I'm asking for your help today. Your additional gift of $250 or more to the ABC nonprofit will, and then you state what will happen. State your transformation again. That's what people are buying, the transformation, your vision, hope for a better community, more lives transformed or saved, safe places to live. And finally, the last part, and it's at the very bottom, flip over, is the PS. Always restate, when you give now, what will happen? Okay, so take these five points and think about it when you're crafting your next solicitation letter. The first five lines are critical, okay? So if you want more tips and strategies each week about fundraising, be sure and click on the link here.